So this is sort of getting into crunch time for the Green Bay Packers. They're 3-4-1. and one. That's third place in the NFC North. And they badly need a victory after they lost that Sunday night game against the Patriots. That's why at home against the Dolphins this week, they are my lock of the week. Granted, the spread is at 10 points. I don't know if they'll cover that. I've got them winning by seven. But still, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to take this team on his back and really make enough plays. There's some chemistry there building between him and Marquez Valdez-Scantling, a rookie who's performed pretty well as a wide receiver. Aaron Jones is starting to get some momentum in the ground game. But I just don't know that the Dolphins, with Brock Osweiler as their quarterback, have enough juice to really go into Lambeau and pull out that upset victory. That's why I think Green Bay is going to win 31-24. to Going to my upset of the week, I'm picking another disappointing team, this time the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're 3-5. and five. They're tied for last place with the Indianapolis Colts in the AFC South, who is their opponent this week. On the road in Indy, I think Jacksonville's going to have enough to pull out the upset. The Colts are getting favored by three. Andrew Luck is playing incredible football. The offensive line is giving him time to throw the ball, and the defense has shown marginal improvements. But the Jags, they've had their bye week to sort of self-assess their issues. I think they're going to figure out what has been working and what has not been working. But the biggest reason why I like them on the road is because of Leonard Fournette. He's returned to practice this week. He's had a nagging hamstring injury that has kept him out. But when he is in the lineup, the Jaguars are a much better team. This season, and he's barely played at all, the Jaguars are averaging just 95 rushing yards a game. Compare that to last season when Fournette was healthy and was their workhorse, they were getting a little bit more than 141 rushing yards per game. With him in the lineup, I think Jacksonville will control the ball, move the ball, and score some points. That's why I've got them winning 23-21. to 21.